here. Hello, good morning. So for those of you that have seen our last vlogs, we are now um, settled in the new van. So we have um, taken the time out this weekend. We're not away this weekend and the weather's pretty poor. So we thought it was a great opportunity to show you guys how we are using the van, some of the pros in the van, uh, and some of the minute negatives, as every, every van has its negatives. Um, and how the layout is working for us. Yeah, but when we say negatives, these are just things that we can change. You know, these aren't things that are permanent negatives. So overall, we're absolutely loving the van and yes. we plan to keep this for many years. Yeah, this um, is our van now for, yeah, for a while. Yeah, we, we can't ever see us wanting to upgrade no, and in the future oh, there will probably be size, yeah. i suppose upgrades to the van to the van yeah but, but um not yeah. upgrading the van itself this no, is this is, this our, is our van yeah this is our van when people say this um their forever home this is like our forever van we can we really feel that in this van don't we yeah yeah, yeah. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let the rain settle down for a bit and then uh I'll take you outside and I'll show you around the van. Right, so we just do a bit on the outside. So um, some of the things that I have added on is the um, uh, mirror bumpers. Um, so they're an addition personally I've added. Um, I do love the, the black going into the white and, and the way the graphics go up the van. We're also looking at getting um, a coating done on the outside. Um, in the future, probably not too distant future, um, just to protect the paintwork, make it easier to clean, etc. Um, so this is where you'll stick your diesel and your ad blue, and it should come up on the monitor when the ad blue is running low. Um, so with the door, it's, it's a wider door than, than most. Um, but I just love the, the way it's made and it's quite good quality. Now the only thing about this door at the moment, um, and it is going to a, um, a Swift um, associate that are gonna be fixing the, the, probably the solenoid for the central locking has gone for the habitation door. Um, it does lock with the key, or I can lock it from the inside and I can open it. So it's, it's no dramas, it's not a security thing. It's just, you know, if, if you, paying for something you want everything to be right right okay the other thing we've found with the door is when you open the door because it doesn't sit flush to the van okay it feels like it locks in like a little clip or something but it's not that strong if it sit flush then you have door stays now this bit of wind and the door ends up slamming shut so we've bought these suction anchor cups um, that are coming today and you can pretty much put one on this side of the van here and then you can stick one to the door with a bit of bungee cord in the middle so that's how we're going to get over the fact that the door's going to uh, well then not slam shut on us and when, we, when um, we've got them and tried them out we'll we'll review we'll them won't know. we yeah, yeah yeah we'll let you know what they're like but um, yeah maybe something that Swift should have thought about but it's an addition. The quality of the door is really good, so I'm not complaining about the door at all. Um, it's just a way of fixing it open would be ideal. Um, you've got the big fridge vents here. Um, we have got the winter covers for them. As well, on the trauma, um, on the gas system, you've got the external gas point. Okay, unused as yet. And you've got a 230 volt AC socket for the outside probably mainly used if you got an awning or something like that and you want to do that toilet holder um, and, the, and the rear boot so within the rear boot one feature I do love having a bit of storage space um, I've got some nice big storage boxes but as you can see, it don't take long to fill up uh, of everything you want to carry. And believe it or not, all this, or majority of this, was in the last van. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it just goes to show how much storage was in the last van. Now, 
point on payload and this is very important really because a lot of people they you get all this space you buy a three and a half tonner and then the three and a half tonner has a payload of 300 kilos I can guarantee now I'm probably over 300 kilos and I've got majority of stuff a couple more bits but majority of stuff that we want when we take away uh, with us so we've got 1092 kilos I believe so we've got over a ton of payload on this so if you have got the C1 license or if you have got a three and a half ton motor home you can upplate it if the chassis allows um, it's really worth doing because you'll be surprised of what what you need to take or what you want to take you can't because of the weight um, so on the back here then you can see the twin twin cameras at the top Okay, and then you've got the fixings for a bike rack or a box or anything you want to be able to put on the back there. Again, another big open door for your boots. Um, you've got an attachment for this as well, but you've got an external shower point, and that really is ideal for um, washing off your boots or your dogs. electric hookup point and your water filling station okay with your well pump um, 12 volt if you're just taking it out of the jerry bucket right so now we're back on the inside and out of that uh, horrible weather so i thought i would show you around the cab okay so it's got the new screen on the front there so it's the led type screen and on there you've got different menus as you can scroll through vehicle setup going back to home okay trips etc vehicle info okay um you can play with your audio and my phone at the moment is not connected and the satellite navigation system now it has actually got the fiat satellite navigation system that's built in on the uh, 10 inch monitor um, and it's also got apple play so i connect my phone i prefer using uh, google maps so i've got the google maps on the 10 inch monitor and then i do have the delta 2 garmin um, where i can put in my size of the vehicle etc that i like to have and i'm confident with um, up as well so that reassures me that I'm not going to take this fan anywhere I shouldn't um, so yeah so with that that's just 10 inch um, screen and you've got different um, settings and stuff you can do on here you can go into the vehicle settings there um, your satellite navigation system etc also along with that just below there um, you have your sort of um, climate control which is great um, it saves you up in the temperature and lowering it all the time um, and various controls on here now we have got the 12 volt uh, DC point and you have got a USB-C and USB charging point also below here there's another USB there um, which is ideal you know for keeping everything charged on the move also you have the dual cameras so I've got the the parking camera that's pointing directly down to the rear and then I've got the um, normal driving uh, rear view camera which is great it is crazy because everything looks a bit more at a distance um, but the mirrors are adequate and you know you can you can judge that that distance that vehicles are but it really gives you a good idea uh, of the surrounding of the vehicle okay so just a little bit about the seats then um, the seats are vegan leather um, and they're really really soft but at the same time quite durable um, and beautiful seats you've got your little lever down here as you can see that is you pull that out and then you can swivel the seats it also has the side armrests that you can adjust and it's got them for each side um, both passenger and driver side i got two um, a lot of the vans i've been in, in the past only have the one on the inside so sitting on the seat then it is adjustable in a few other ways just pretty much like standard seats so you can lower it okay you can go forward etc okay it's just a, a case of pulling the lever and then spinning your chair around 
just like that. So you can have it right the way round. Okay, you might have to bring the driver's seat forward slightly just to, to miss the steering wheel, and then you can just rest it back again. Okay, so you can have your feet up on the um, on the side or sofas if you wish to. Um, when you are sitting here, you have got a, a two thirty plug socket. You've also got um, a reading lamp. So now I'm going to show you around the lounge area, okay, some of the bits that we like, how we use it um, and how we set the bed up and we're also going to show you the travel seats. So as you can see the captain seats are swiveled around which is fantastic if you're watching the TV you can actually put your feet up on the uh, couch areas, the bench areas as well if you want to just to really relax or you can sit in one of these and watch TV. We've eaten in here, it's it's great space for eating. We find this table, we don't need to put it out fully um, unless we there is four of us eating because it's enough space as it is and it helps with the space moving around the side into the captain seats as well if we don't put it out fully. But the option's there to do so. What I love here is we've got these reading lights. Stick that on. As you can see. And then in up here there's a USB and each one of these four reading lights has a USB. Not only are they there but there is also here and the same on the other side more USBs which is ideal for us. We've taken our two teenage daughters away with us uh, in July and they will just love the fact there's actually more than what we need USBs to be honest um, but the girls w won't be able to complain about that because we've got fitted Wi-Fi as well which we've put in um, an e card uh, SIM card which seems to work most places and um, obviously we've not taken it to Europe so we don't know about that but in the UK the e seems the best for us so um, that will be good as well when we take the girls away these cushions are out of the old van they were perfect for the old van because of these patterns of the beach on them but they don't really go in here the blue <laughs> so i'm just turning them around for the moment i've ordered some more cushion covers that actually match like the silvery and this color um so they will be in soon and with this table we've we've said before and i have showed before it does move up and down and it also becomes a bed I'll show you how far down the table goes and once the table's right to the bottom I am gonna we are gonna make the bed up for you to show you what it looks like when we've got the bed we've just taken the top cushions off which just pressed it onto here and put them out the way for now so this bit slides out puts back So bear in mind, I've never made this bed yet. <laughs> it's our first time. <laughs> so it will be fun. Is that as far down as it goes? Yeah. Always make sure you've got this support out. And there is supports this side for the table. But again, just make sure that supports out. Okay, so. I don't know if this bed has ever been made up because it's like if the previous owners needed it or not. Seems quite secure. So I believe that's that. Now we're going to get the cushions on. After a little bit of Tetris, um, <laughs> just working out what way the cushions go, we think we've, we've got it. It's um, not easy, is it? We had to Google it. The first time. <laughs> we had to Google it, didn't we? <laughs> we Googled it and yeah, arranged the cushions so now they're okay. So no one's ever been on the bed yet. But actually Lee's gonna have his I'm afternoon get a nap. Of pillars. <laughs> this morning nap, shall I say? <laughs> actually it's uh it's quite long. You Can know? you get two people in there comfortably? Well I think the top end you definitely have to lay this way around. The top end here is definitely wider. Yeah. Um, and then whoever's this side just has to put their feet across slightly. But yeah. I don't see that as being a ma ma major problem. I yeah. think that's absolutely fine. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
I'm going to try that out. But like Lee said, you have to um, sort of shuffle your legs across on the bottom side of it, just because, which is not too bad, you've still got a lot of space. So that's how we make up the bed. And um, we're going to show you now how we, or we're going to attempt to show you, because it's the first time we've done it, <laughs> and we do a travel seat. Yeah. Are you happy for that, Lee? Uh, hey. <laughs> it looks a bit comfy on there. I don't think I'm going to get him up off that bed, am I? <laughs> the cushions on the side because we've just unmade the bed. So we're going to attempt to uh, put up one of the travel seats for you just so you can see um, obviously we've seen the travel seats working so this lever here so you give it a twist and then you'll be able to lift the seat right up to its fully back position okay and then the seat belt attachment is already there Okay, so you've got a little flap here, okay, just opening up that flap with a magnet on the back there, so that sticks there, that gives you your, your feet access for whoever's sitting in the passenger seat. Also you get this infill, okay, until it ain't been used as yet, because the Velcro has never been used to stick down, but that sits in. That sits in on there, and then one of your small back ends okay, attaches to there, like so. <laughs> right, so with these, you need the one with the back that sort of splits. Take that backing bit off there. You're losing your other cushion behind you, Lee, so <laughs> It's going to get in your way. <laughs> it's getting in the way. Right. And then it is just a case of sticking that on the like so. Voila. It's actually not a bad travel seat. And how's your seat belt work? Let me find my seat belt. It comes over the shoulder piece here. And then you've got your attachment down here. Let's go. I can't drive it, sorry. I don't have the right <laughs> license. <laughs> so yeah, so that ain't actually that bad. There's um, plenty enough leg room um, in here. So yeah, it's all good. And of course, there's one underneath there as well. So you can have two seat belts in the back and two in the front so you can travel with four people. Right, so now the uh, the lounge is all set back up as it should be. I'm just going to whiz you around the kitchen um, just to show you um, some of the, the features and, and where things are really. So just to point out here, we're using this cupboard as the food locker. We buy these baskets that you can get. We got them from Tesco's, but you can get them anywhere. Um, bit of rubber matting, and that just keeps everything um, a bit more secure when you're in transit. As well, if we look down here, you can actually extend, extend the, um, the work surface, like so. What we're finding is we're not using it as much as we thought we would. Um, we just don't need it to use that space. If we have a few more people in the van, then maybe, maybe that's some sort of space we're gonna need in the future. Um, that's your up and down switch and your fuse for the table. And to the side, you have got two uh, AC sockets uh, and the light switch for the lounge. Um, just point as well, they've all got these blinds, so you've got the blind itself and you've got your fly net attached, okay? Um, and one of these clips actually, we believe was missing 
um, from the front of the lounge. Um, and one of the subscribers thankfully uh, pointed that out, which is, you know, we're thankful for. And when we went to view it anyway, it was um, replaced and put on there. So also we would just show you up here. So you got cupboards at the top. Here we got our gas kettle. We're going to have another electric kettle in there. Always keep that as a spare and where we, these are actually fixed on and where we keep our sort of um, wine glasses, etc. The top cupboard. We've got the ridge monkeys in there. We've got some more glasses within there. We don't store food in there just because of the height really. Uh, and it's ideal for them. And then the cupboard to the right. So this is where all the crockery goes. Okay, and again, that unit's fixed in. In here as well, you have got your plug socket for your microwave. Also, you've got your um, Wi-Fi unit. The SIM card we're using is EE. We seem to find that's best uh, UK wide. Um, we have got other spare SIMs if needed, but that's attached to the an antenna on the top. And the microwave we've used um, once just to trial it out, and it's all good. It's the one with no plate in there, so it's turning free. Um, and that seems to work all good. That will work on the uh, hookup or if um, you want to plug it in, hence why I pointed out the plug socket to your power bank. So we come down, we've got a Thetford cooker and it is really sturdy. You've got to lift the actual um, lid up just to make sure the gas comes through. It's got a safety feature on it, so the lid's down, it won't work. You've got one hot plate and then three gas rings. As well as that, you've got your um, grill and an oven. We haven't used them yet, but they seem decent size. We have seen them working. So. Nice size sink. We have got a bowl in it and tap. So coming down into the actual cupboard area then, you've got your draining tray and then we've got all basically cleaning products and you know some cutlery in here um, but down here I don't know if you can see is where basically all your valves to switch on and off your gas uh, water supply are um, down here you have a drawer where we keep some saucers And then we'll work our way over to this side. So over this side, you've got a cupboard above the fridge and a drawer below. The cupboard up here has actually got the uh, the aerial antenna in. It's got the Sargent charging uh, solar panel system in. And it's actually got the, um, the aerial power uh, or booster. So we don't put much in there and we've got the big basket to put sort of bread and stuff like that in that. And then heavier items we are put in the drawer down here. And it's a two way fridge so you can open it from this side and that side. 133 litre fridge, freezer. The freezer is okay, it's an adequate size for us, so we get enough for ice lollies and ice creams in there. So you've got, as you come in the door, you've actually got a hook here, coat hook. We, I use it for my keys really. Um, and we've got a mounted TV. Now obviously when you buy new that don't come standard, we were lucky enough it's 10 months old, we got it with the van and we got a TV in the rear. You've got your Audi system, okay. So that controls your heating and hot water. However, you can control it from the uh, Swift command. Um, you've got your pump, awning light, lighting, power, water, heating, settings and fridge. I'm not going to go into that. There's plenty of videos out there going into the Swift command. If you add air conditioning, for example, then there'll be an air conditioning thing up there. And obviously other features can be added to that. Um, so that's the Swift command. Um, what I do then is I'll take you down to where the sergeant unit is and that's the, the brains as they say. So all you've got to do is lift up the seat there, pull this out, okay and under here is 
the actual sergeant unit itself now they say if you're going into storage or undercover or anything like that you can turn the whole 12 volt system off we have actually got a solar panel on the top here so the solar panel will keep the battery and um, basically the vehicle battery and leisure battery charged um, it's got like an intelligence charge system so with that it keeps the tracker running all the time so we always have the sergeant on however we will have the heating and hot water off um, so within there then you've got your um, RCD trip switches and you have your fuses okay and at the back you'll see a labeling system for all the fuses so in in the bathroom then I'll just show you what I've done so I went out and bought from Amazon some little plastic bottles that are refillable so and I've got all um, the different like shampoos, conditioners, and uh, shower gels, body washes, body lotions, and I've basically put them into these. I'll just show you what I mean. So in here I've got obviously conditioner, shampoo, um, conditioner. So this is it, like the cheaper version. This is my expensive stuff that I need for my hair, uh, and then a couple of shower gels, uh, a body scrub and a body lotion obviously a hand wash so i thought that's a great idea because what that means is you don't always have to remember to bring something different or you don't even have to do that i'm not going to bring anything with me i'm just going to keep these topped up so that i know that that stuff's in here when i come away because we are going away quite a lot the, for the rest of this year lee bought this for the shower we was going to put it in the shower stick it on so we've got some extra um support for that and um, it does actually stick onto the mirrors it's just come off at the moment um that sticks onto the mirrors and we're going to put like toothpaste and your toothbrushes and stuff in there so in here um is where we're going to put the towels they're just um we've just bought some new towels here that we've left them at home um but they will go in here and this basket we can just put on here as well if we need to put any other little bits in when we're on campsites or when we're camping um so that makes that work quite nicely and everything that you need will be in here especially when we bring the teenage girls away as well um, and we found the shower actually to be really really good and useful it's quite it's quite a good flowing shower to be honest and you can just put your bottles on there when you're in the shower um, and this door is really good it gives you lots of space in there um, and you can fully get changed in this area so once you've stepped out of the shower uh, and this door's shut and locked um, you've got all this space to get changed in um, and you could also have that open like I have now if it's just you in the back of the van so you've got the space where as so it feels like you've got more space because you're in the bedroom area as well or you can lock that off um, with these little locks up here and you can shut both doors and then that will give you more privacy if there is somebody in the bedroom as well um, which which is good and um, when you do that obviously you make sure that your blinds are shut uh, so that if you are coming out straight out the shower and getting dressed you've got the two blinds closed and then that's more privacy for yourself getting ready because the bed is quite tight up against here um, it is good to use this space to get ready in but it does have space down the side here and there is a mirror here um, if you needed to get ready and somebody else was using the bathroom and obviously you've got the space that side as well as we said before this bed is just it's not quite six foot so Lee is six foot um, we realize that it's just not quite long enough so what we've done if I'll just show you what we've done we've bought these bolster cushions so these are great cushions if you just want to chill out and lay in here um, in the day or on an evening, whatever. But the re main reason we got these is because we pull out this, we pull out this bed um, and then we slot them down the back of the bed and it gives you that much space. You can see where my hand is. It gives you that much extra length on the bottom of the bed. Yes, it is a little bit tight makes it a bit tighter around here when it's already quite tight anyway however however it does actually really work um and lee's quite comfortable on the evening and say six foot um and i'm quite comfortable but you would just put it back in the day you just shove it back across the mattress and then pull the cushions back out like that so so that works really well we've got our wardrobe clothes in the sides there some extra clothes in the top 
um, and on the sides here which I think is really nice as well as having all this space here you've got these extra USBs and light switch in that one and in this one you've got an AC plug as well okay and down here this is my hair straightening plug when we're on electric because it's perfect with the mirror being there or I can even stretch it across and do it in there uh, in the mirror in there so this cupboard they said is a wardrobe it's not actually a wardrobe it is a cupboard and it holds your Aldi fluid okay and we've just got the TV remotes in there and it's your plug and stuff um, and just little bits really that you want to put in there so it's, it's useful as a little cupboard and if I get in here I'll show you how much space we actually have so so this is the kind of space that we have in this area so it's not massive so if you were using the mirror it's fine I mean you can sit on the bottom you can sit on the bed and use the mirror but you have to sort of lean over to do that a little bit so it's not ideal where the mirror is um, but it's there if you need it okay so that's our little tour around the van um, hope you found that useful with any of it useful and obviously skip to the bits you might find useful <laughs> um, but yeah so we're getting ready now for well I'm getting ready unfortunately Jodie's not coming with me on the next trip um, unfortunately I've got, I'm going up to see family uh, which is quite important so Lee's taking his son away yes so yeah. we're going up to near um, Weymouth, Weymouth. Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping to get some footage of around that area yeah so look forward to seeing, seeing you on the one. next one <laughs> I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing it because I'm not there <laughs> so I'd like to see what you've been getting up to when I'm not around <laughs> <laughs> that won't be on camera anyway <laughs> I don't know. From, from us anyway see you later and hopefully see you on the next one see ya Bye. so with the cupboard space in this side we you basically put in our sort of glasses and um, teapot we have actually got um, a electric uh... so this mirror is a little like I said it's a wardrobe it's not it's a little cupboard um, it's obviously it's got your ad blue in it start the however we will have the heating and hot water off if you are traveling abroad they don't have earth in so you might have to reverse um, plurality reverse what? So the next word. Clarity. Clarity.